Hello my eggs. Something powerful happened. Episode 70 part 3 came out the previous day. And this is the best episode in the entire series, and at the same time the saddest episode. Honestly, after watching this episode, I was in shock for the whole day, and I can't recover from what I saw. This episode changes everything, and hides a lot, and shows a lot, and I would like to say that. Soon I will be creating an episode in which I am making a Minecraft Skibbity Toilet server. And I will make this server public for 50k subs, so you know what to do. Click this button, because we are also going for 100k, because for these subi. I will do two things, I will go to Elite Cameraman, and tell him that TV Woman is mine from now on. So I encourage you to subscribe, thanks, well. Let's go with the analysis, and it all starts with a reminder of the end of the previous episode. And we open the door, and approach the dark speaker, and see an egg toilet there. So that's cool from this leak. There is only one difference, knocking on the door. Actually something like this has happened more than once in this base, and what I wonder is why. There is banging on the door, after all, if it was a skibbity toilet, he would have opened it. We probably won't find out what is there, or who is there. But it is something worth paying attention to. We continue flying, and we see a red inscription. But I don't know what it says, because it is too difficult to read. Later we see the toilet. Which turns and moves on, but suddenly something interesting happens. The toilet leaves the room, and doesn't see us. After a while it turns out that we are invisible. And we turn around and see a cameraman who disappears after a while, interestingly. We already had the ghost of a cameraman, who was in the elevator. But this one is a bit different. Then we turn around and see the door closing. But we stop it and enter the room where too much has happened. At first, we see a secret agent talking to a scientist. So everything changes here. Why does he have contact with them? After analyzing it carefully, I believe that he only contacts people who die. Every cameraman who had direct contact with him died. Just like scientists later. Good. But listen to what they are talking about. says what to escape. My little fire will kill you. And immediately comes to mind what kind of pawn. It is rather obvious that we are talking about a plungerman because yes, it is a plungerman himself. Who later confirmed it? Not a ninja. Then the scientist turns around and sees us. Then we turn around and see a toilet that wants to destroy us. However, we run away and close the door. You can also notice that the scientist is surprised that we have such a hacking device. After a while he fires the laser, but we turn it off. The second laser unfortunately hits us slightly, but we turn it off. Later, the scientist tries to escape through the door, but we also hack it in the same way as his panel. Which means he can't teleport, and the fight begins. What I find interesting is that the scientist is very big after some time, even in his normal version. First we run away from the laser, and then the speakerman attacks him with a spear, and jumps at him. Just like us. But we are thrown back by him and Dark is torn to pieces. And this is a very sad moment for the series. Later we attack him again, but we are stopped by him and the Sparacrimin breaks his glasses. Half of his body, but he is thrown away and we throw our plunger at him. After a while, the scientist wants to shoot us with a laser. But we cover ourselves with our weapon and that's why we survive. Not like Sparacrimin who is shot by scientist. Who uses our device and wants to teleport but chooses a large TV a main, which has speakers instead of TVs. Question from where? It's interesting how he has the power to drain the power of teleportation, or something like that, and then hit him with light. But that says something. Listen, from what I hear, he says, and will demolish you. Then the scientist jumps to something under the floor. The TV a main sees what's there, and moves away, and closes the door. I don't know how, but it doesn't matter. TV man says stand back now. Listen. And a scientist flies out of there, but he's a bit bigger. Let me tell you something. If you look at his eyes, they are red like the scientist's eyes when he had a bigger robot, and astro toilets also have eyes. Like that, so maybe they are robots too. Nothing is known, but the beloved trio and a large cameraman still appear. Who starts shooting at it, and it turns around, and unfortunately destroys it. After a while something a bit funny happens, because it starts flying like crazy. If you look closely, 
you can see the opening at the back through which the women entered. The scientist stops after a while and flies out of the robot, with the women on his head after beating him up terribly. And he throws them. I don't know how you can treat women like that. He still tries to fly through the mountain, but titans are waiting there. I'm curious why TV Man has a damaged side monitor. Maybe we'll find out about it in the full episode or season. Next, the scientist is caught by Titan cameraman and lightly set on fire. Then, he gives it to the TV Man and he crushes it slightly and shows my Roblox face. Then Titan Speakerman gets scientist and waits for him to stop screaming. For a moment, I thought she just wanted to catch him to interrogate him. However, he attacks him with loudspeakers and hits him against the wall. The Titans can be seen looking at him with admiration. After a while, he throws him on the floor. Suddenly, we see a large TV main who appears in front of us. It is slightly damaged and he talks. Just a scratch. Just a scratch. We still see Lucky Cameraman. As I said, he will not die. But what I find interesting is that he looks like he knows what's about to happen and can't bear to. Look at it. Before that, we approach the speakerman and see the face of the TV woman speakerman, who is dying, unfortunately. But that's not the end. We see two cameramen, probably the two who were shaking hands earlier and looking at us. You can see that they are green, which means they are from a secret agent. Suddenly, they shine their flashlights on us, and we see something from the previous leak. The secret agent is talking to us. But before I tell you what, look. We can see here the heads of the TV man, the cameraman, and the speakerman. It is possible that he was the one who created this trick. That's why a few cameramen are automatically on his side. Because after all, which side is he on? In my opinion, he is not with Astro Toilets because I heard such a theory somewhere. But he is with whomever he wants. It's obvious that he only helps us. But he communicates with each of the parties, and that's it. The only negative guy left from Skibbity Toilet. I think that G-Man will come back in 50 episodes and will have 100 lasers and will destroy everyone. And at the end, he will explode, and that will be the end series. Okay, but let's get down to what he s a's. In short, he thanks us for destroying the scientist, but a bigger threat awaits us. Then he says that some things must be kept secret and that we know too much and we can't survive this war. So the agent kills Plungerman. Camera woman wants to help us, but TV woman doesn't allow it. It's a bit suspicious, but I won't think about it. Then we see the inscription "critical damage," and we start to burn moments before we give Titan cameraman a thumbs up, and he leans down. But we don't know what to do next because it says camera offline, and that's it. Subscribe for legends and leave a candle in the comment. Bye.